Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Kiana and I'm also the Art of Phenology. And if you didn't know, we are preparing for Glow Day. So we have the last of our state testing this Monday and Tuesday and it's math. So we are doing Glow Day tomorrow, tomorrow's Friday to review. So I wanted to take you on this journey with me. This will be like a daily vlog, I guess. So it's Thursday after school now, I'm getting things prepared, but I'll be doing the bulk of everything probably tomorrow. But I want to share what I have going on so far because I'm super excited to share what we have going on. If you're unfamiliar with Glow Day, basically it is a day when we make all of our learning glow. We do still do math. It is still very rigorous. And the students will be working their way through four like carnival games or glow games. And during these glow games, they will be working on various math skills from throughout the year. And it'll just be a fun way to disguise all the math that we need to still review first date set the first date testing and my students had to earn this i'm afraid someone's about to walk into my classroom like any minute so i'm going to talk kind of quietly but um i've been working kind of all day to get things prepared and we still have a lot more to do so my students will be playing four games they will be playing jenga a ring toss bowling and then they'll be using glow sticks to do like geometric figures so i guess it's not really a game but it's still a station so here is the first station for bowling, and as you can see, this is just kind of prepared. Please excuse how disgusting my carpet is. It's the end of the school year. Here's where the ring toss will be. The students will be doing the geometric figures here. And here is the Jenga set right there. I'll try to go over like all of the games and rules and all of that and where I got everything tomorrow, but I only have like 10 or 15 more minutes because my boyfriend is coming into town and I have to drive to Atlanta to the airport to go get him, which is like an hour drive from my school. Not that far from my house, but you know how that goes. So what I've done so far today is obviously set up what you see on the floor. We've covered the tables with ta old tablecloths or black butcher paper for the areas where I didn't have tablecloths. I also um, made my own confetti, as you guys can see, because, um, yeah, I didn't have any, and these were like too big, so I think I'm going to add these to this wall back here to decorate this, since nothing else is there anyway. Um, I put this up. This will be for our class photo booth. I need to close that space and add some words. I like to always have a photo booth when I do a room transformation, just so my students can like always keep those memories. So this will be the photo booth for tomorrow, and I got a few things I'm really excited about. We have 500 glow sticks, so my room is just a whole hot mess right now, but we have 500 glow sticks here. I'm going to hang these from the ceiling. Again, that might happen tomorrow, but I got this balloon air pump, and it makes blowing a total game changer. I'm going to show you guys. the balloons are all filled up I'm going to try to add some more things to this bulletin board and I think I might have to head out I have like five minutes so I'm gonna do that really quickly details on it not sure if that's focusing very well maybe a little bit i have put down the bottles for put down the bottles that sounds funny put down the bottles for our ring toss and also got our little bowling alley lane set up so got a lot to do in the morning gonna try to get here super early i pulled up 
pulled off that basketball transformation pretty quickly so i'm hoping that all i like have to do is hang things from the ceiling the best part about uh glow in the dark or any glow transformation is that once you turn off the lights it automatically helps to transform the room so you don't have to do too much so just need to print out some words for that hang up some stuff and then I'm mostly done. Oh, and then figure out what to do with all of these like glow in the dark balloons that are on the floor. Wow. Yep, I just knocked over everything. And put up all of my blue lights. So I'll just do in the morning. I'll try to get here super early. But I will talk to you guys. Good morning. Today is glow day. I'm so excited. I got to work not as early as I intended, but it's glow day. It's gonna be a great day. So super excited. I have about 45 minutes until students arrive, so I'm about to be like moving rapid fast around the classroom. What I'm going to be doing is hanging up decorations, plugging in the black lights so that it actually glows, and getting their morning work prepared. Those are like steps one, two, and three, but um, if I have time, then I will finish this photo booth and go over the games, but because I don't really need the games until it's instructional time, which is after my planning period, which is what we start our day with, I might talk to you guys about all that during my planning period, but for now, I'm excited. Let's get this day started. Really quick before I get started, I wanted to show you guys my outfit. So I am wearing this glow day shirt that I got from Lipstick and Littles on Instagram and it says let's glow and the letters glow in the dark. I wear white pants because they glow really well. Um, these are just really comfortable and I have on my like math teacher earrings. I'm not sure if you guys can see them but it looks like a ruler and a protractor. Is that a protractor? <laughs> I don't even know what you call this. this. Is this a project? Whatever. I have them on and they're Matthew. Excuse my dirty, dirty, filthy mirror. So one thing I bought was these like tons of packs of these like neon bright dots and they make like a, I don't know what you call it. These are going to be decorations, but they are so incredibly long that they go all the way like from the floor to the ceiling two times. So I think what I'm going to do is like make little loop-de-loops across the ceiling and then hang the rest of them in front of the photo booth to kind of, I don't know, make a backdrop or something like that. Okay, so first round of glow day is done. It was a little bit a little bit hectic, but we had a lot of fun. So I'm going to share with you some of the games that we did and go over the setup. Um, when the kids came in, I was not prepared at all. I had an email that kind of threw me off this morning, so I was not prepared. I don't even know where you guys can see me. I'll just stand here. I was not prepared, so everything was all over the place, but we made do. So I'm going to show you what we've done so far. 
So first things first, my students did this word search. I just found, Googled like math fifth grade word search and they use highlighters because they glow really well in the black lights, as you guys can see. So they did this word search for morning work. I also had a ton of glow sticks laid out on the table and I told every student that they could get four glow sticks. So two could be used for bracelets and then one could be used as like a necklace and that allowed every child to glow. My students helped me put some glow sticks inside of our bowling pins. So these are just water bottles that I put glow tape on the outside of and now they glow. And this glow tape is really great because it made a little bowling alley. Here's one of my black lights and then another black light, which is hard to kind of see here. This is the photo booth area that still never got finished and probably won't get finished. This will probably be the new photo booth area. And there's a station there and a black light there. And then I also added these decorations on the ceiling that glow really well. So a oh, lots of fun. Recording in the dark is really hard, but first I'm going to show you the bowling station. So all of my stations I got from Adventures of Miss Smith on Teachers Pay Teachers. She has Glow Day for 3rd, 4th, and 5th grade, and it's really easy and it's so perfect for math. So I'll link that for you guys. But one of the stations was bowling, and what the students had to do was they had to roll dice to make different digit numbers, like four digit numbers, three digit numbers, or larger fractions, all sorts of things. And inside their booklet, they had to round the numbers and write it in expanded form, write it in word form. And then after everyone would do that, they would bowl for points. So I gave them also these invisible ink pens. So I'll show you how they work. The students would write their team name and then write each other's names and then they would use this little soccer ball to bowl and as they were bowling, the students would write their points like along each round. So like say they got two, three, it's already kind of glowing because there's a black light right there but they love to use these pins to in the light to see what their score is. So they were doing that and so I made a little makeshift bowling alley with the tape and the students stood on the green dot and as they stood on the green dot they would just roll and I didn't hit anything but they would knock over pins. The next game is one of my favorites and it's Jenga. So this, all of my blocks, because I've done Glow Day before, my blocks were already prepared so I didn't have to do this myself. Um, but the blocks have different glow tape on them as you guys can see. So various colors like whatever those colors are. And the students, as they would pull the blocks from Jenga, they would have to answer a question on the corresponding color and everyone on the team has to answer that question. So yellow for yellow, green for green, et cetera, et cetera. And I can show you some clips and images I have of my students playing Jenga today. The next game is also pretty similar. So the students had to answer colors based, I mean, answer questions based off of the colors. Once the whole team answered the question, so we had yellow, orange, and pink, they would use these to do a ring toss. So they would stand on the white line and then try to toss for the color that matched the answer, the question that they just answered. And if you look underneath each of the bottles, they are worth various points. And so they were able to track their points here on this ring toss sheet, which also has glow in the dark features. Our last station is our glow geometry. So the students use these glow sticks to make various shapes and inside their books. After they made the shape, they would draw what the shape looked like inside their little glow day booklets. And we had also like various little, well that one's blank, but various task cards as well for that. Seven thousand three hundred six. Seven thousand three hundred six. Which page is this? Okay. Okay. What is it? Oh my gosh! What a day, guys! What a day! I feel like I did an awful job vlogging or really even answering any questions, um, because I. Today was just such a whirlwind from like the moment I came in, emails that I received in the morning, kids came, meeting, parents, counselor, issues, fun, crazy, fun, crazy, tired, no caffeine at all today. 
I'm just all over the place. But here we are. And Glow Day, I think, was really fun. I enjoyed it. The students enjoyed it. Not really sure where I left off. I think I told you where I got my shirt from. This is what everything looks like now. I did have the students help me, like, take down almost everything. Except for this over here, which I think I'm going to leave up in, over the weekend. Because I'm ready to go. I have to go with my boyfriend. But I did want to share with you, like, what we did, maybe with the lights on. Um, not everything and maybe share like where I got a few of these things in case you wanted them too. and I can link things like um, the black lights well oh, here it is I can link my black lights in the bio so if you would like to purchase those you can do that I also save these for next year by just putting all the bottles like in a box and then I just put them on my little transformation shelf and I'll use these again next year for glow day so these are the invisible ink pens that my students use. So they press the light and they come, well, first they write, of course, with the pen. And then if they press the light, you can see that there are um, <laughs> numbers on here. My brain's really tired. So these are just an easy way to boost engagement for almost any lesson, like whether you're doing a transformation or you're just doing regular word problems, they're exciting for students to use. So I'll link those. And I wanted to show you guys, I didn't do a really good job showing you like with Jenga how they're colored. And you see there's different questions in there. So each question is a different skill. So this was the ring toss. So the yellow would be order of operations. Orange I think was like line plots and perimeter. And then pink was mystery for the ring toss. I'm going to throw all these away because I'm not teaching fifth grade next year. Um, but for Jenga, yellow cards were numbers. Green was fractions, blue, whole numbers, pink, mixed word problems, decimals, and things like that. So we covered all of the standards of fifth grade today, and it was intense, and it was fun. I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this vlog right here. I'm sure I left out so many things, so if you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. If you would like to try Glow Day and you like any tips, also let me know in the comments. It's a really fun day, lots of craziness, um, but totally worth it, and I'll see you guys next time. If you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!